All right, so get this. Imagine sitting in a room with the masterminds behind some of the most advanced AI out there. Mm. That's kind of what we're doing today. Okay. We're diving into this roundtable discussion yeah. with engineers from Anthropic, the folks who built Claude AI. Right. They're talking about prompt engineering. It's a hot topic. Which sounds, I don't know, maybe a little technical when you first hear it. Yeah. But stick with me. It's fascinating stuff. Well, yeah. So yeah. what is prompt engineering? Well, you handed us this video. Yeah. And these engineers are practically bubbling over with excitement about prompt engineering. Korea. And for good reason. It's essentially the art of speaking AI. Oh, okay. Crafting those instructions and questions that help us bridge the gap between how E think yeah. and how AI thinks. It's yeah. like we're learning a whole language, right? Exactly. Oh, yeah. wow. But instead of deciphering ancient hieroglyphics, yeah. We're trying to unlock the potential mm -hmm. of these incredibly powerful AI models. Right. And that's what makes it so important. Yeah. The better we get at prompting, huh? the more we can actually do you with AI. Okay. From automating tasks to generating creative content to even gaining new if sites from complex data. Okay. That makes sense. But I have to admit, yeah. the term engineer makes me picture someone in a hard hat. Right. Not someone typing away at a keyboard. And in the round table, okay. one of the engineers, mm -hmm. Alex, yeah. even jokes about being technically a Trump engineer. Oh, really? Like, it's just a temporary gig. Right. But that actually highlights a crucial point. Okay. Prompting is an ongoing process, <laughs> a constant back and forth between human and AI. So it's more of a conversation yeah. than just like a one and done. It's less about writing perfect instructions on the first try. Right. And more about understanding how to guide the AI towards the desired outcome. Yeah. Refining your approach along the way. So it's a collaboration, not just giving orders. Exactly. Interesting. And the diverse backgrounds of these engineers, yeah. research, consumer AI, enterprise applications, mm -hmm. highlight just how multifaceted this collaboration can be. Okay. They each bring unique perspectives to the table. Yeah. Showing that effective prompting isn't just about technical know-how. Okay. It also requires clear communication, creative problem solving, mm -hmm. and even a bit of psychology. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's break down those skills. What does it actually take to be a good prompt engineer? Well, first and foremost, you need to be able to communicate clearly. Okay. And I'm not just talking about perfect grammar. Right. But about structuring your thoughts in a way that the AI can grasp. Yeah. It's almost like explaining a complex concept to someone who's completely new to it. Okay. You have to break it down into manageable chunks, yeah. provide context, and anticipate potential misunderstandings. Right, because AI doesn't automatically have the same common sense or background knowledge as humans. Precisely. Right. And this is where that iterative mindset we talked about comes into play. Okay. Think of it like a dance. You take the lead, uh -huh. the AI responds, yeah. and you adjust your steps accordingly. Okay. Don't be afraid to experiment, yeah. to analyze the AI's responses, and to refine your approach based on the feedback you receive. So you try something, you see what it does, and then you adjust. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. That actually reminds me of something else the engineers talked about. There's yeah. common misconceptions people have about AI. Right. Like, do we really need to treat it like a fragile high school student right. who needs everything spelled out in a certain way? It's a tempting thought, isn't it? Yeah. To dumb things down. Yeah. Assuming the AI needs that level of hand-holding. Right. As AI models become more sophisticated, right. they often benefit from understanding the real-world context of the task at hand. So instead of trying to trick it by pretending to be a teacher giving a quiz, yeah. we should just be upfront about what we're trying to do, I think so. which in our case might be asking it to analyze a research paper. Exactly. Okay. Honesty and clarity are your allies here. Right. Don't be afraid to give the AI the bigger picture. Explain your goals. Uh-huh. Provide all the relevant background information. Yeah. And then let it do its thing. And this is where it gets really interesting because right. in the round table, yeah. Amanda actually pushes back on using those persona based prompts. Interesting. You know, the whole you are a helpful assistant approach. Huh. Okay. Yeah. It's an intriguing point. Yeah. She argues that as AI models are trained on increasingly vast data sets, yeah. they're developing a more nuanced understanding of the world. Okay. They know what an AI evaluation is. Right. They've seen countless examples of different writing styles and tasks. Yeah. So pretending to be something we're not might confuse the AI more than help it. Potentially. Huh. 
It's like trying to navigate a foreign country with only a handful of basic phrases right. you might get by. Yeah. But for true fluency, for Ugh. those deeper interactions, yeah. you need a richer understanding. And speaking of deeper interactions, okay. one of the most mind-blowing moments for me was when Amanda casually mentioned yeah. giving AI entire research papers to read <laughs> entire papers. I know, right? Like, it sounds insane. Yeah. But it speaks volumes about the capacity of these models to process and synthesize vast amounts of information. It's incredible. Yeah. She even talked about then asking the AI to generate new prompts yeah. based on what it learned from the research paper. It's like having a super powered research assistant yeah. who can devour information at warp speed mm. and then help you formulate even more insightful questions. It really challenges our assumptions about what AI is capable of. For sure. And this evolution in AI capabilities ties directly into how we think about prompting itself. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the techniques used even a few years ago are different from what works best today. So how has prompt engineering evolved alongside these advancements? Right. What's changed? One of the biggest shifts is that a lot of those early hacks, okay, like having to explicitly tell the AI to think step by step right. have become integrated into the design of newer models. So it's like AI is learning to anticipate our needs yeah. even before we fully articulate them. Which of course leads to the million dollar question. Yeah, okay. Will we all be prompt engineers someday? Right. Or will AI eventually just prompt itself? It's a question that sparks endless debate. Yeah. While it's tempting to imagine a future where AI operates completely autonomously, yeah. I believe the true potential lies in a collaborative future. Okay. Imagine a world where AI doesn't just receive instructions, right. but actively engages with us, yeah. asking insightful questions to help us clarify our own thoughts and intentions. It's almost like AI becomes a thought partner, yeah. helping us unlock new levels of understanding and creativity. Precisely. Wow. Think of it less like giving orders to a mindless machine okay, and more like brainstorming with a brilliant strategist who just happens to have access to an unimaginable amount of information. Mm. And speaking of brilliant strategies, okay, there was this one tip Amanda dropped that really stuck with me. Yeah. Externalize your brain. I love that one. Right. It's so simple. It's so good. Yet profound. Before you even start writing your prompt, yeah. she suggests taking a moment to analyze your own thinking. Okay. How would you explain this task to someone completely new to it without dumbing it down? Right. It's like you're forcing yourself to clarify your own thought process yes. before you even involve the AI. Ex exactly. Yeah. Because that process of articulating our thoughts clearly, yeah. breaking them down into their core components, right. that's what unlocks effective communication Sorry. both with AI and with each other. It's not just about talking to AI. Right. It's about understanding ourselves better in the process. Right. Exactly. It's like that old saying, to teach is to learn twice. By mm -hmm. trying to explain something to AI, right. we end up understanding it better ourselves. Precisely. Yeah. And just like teaching, prompt engineering involves constant experimentation and refinement. Ear. The engineers in the roundtable emphasize the importance of testing and iterating, right. constantly tweaking their prompts based on the AI's responses. They made it sound more like an art than a science, mm -hmm. which... I have to admit, makes me feel a bit better about not being a coding whiz. There's definitely a creative element to it. It's yeah. like finding that perfect turn of phrase, but. that one analogy that unlocks the AI's full potential. Zach, one of the engineers, even used the word hacking right. when describing his approach to prompting. That spirit of exploration. Yeah. Yeah. Of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Right. That's what makes this field so captivating. So it's like... We're exploring a vast, uncharted territory, yeah. and every new prompt is a step into the unknown. And speaking of tools for exploration, yeah. the engineers talked about these things called meta prompts. Okay. Which basically means using AI to help us write better prompts. <laughs> right. It's like AI inception. It's a fascinating glimpse into the future. Yeah. Where AI becomes our partner in the creative process. Wow. Imagine bouncing ideas off an AI, mm -hmm. getting feedback on your prompts, right. or even having it generate entirely new prompts based on your goals. It'd be like having a brainstorming buddy right. who's read everything ever written yeah. and can process information at lightning speed. <laughs> exactly. And 
that brings us back to Amanda's point about giving AI entire research papers to digest. Right. It's not just about feeding it information. Yeah. It's about leveraging its ability to see connections and patterns that we might miss. Uh, and then based on that deep dive into a topic, right. the AI can help us formulate even more insightful questions, yeah. opening up entirely new avenues of research and exploration. Totally. It's mind blowing. It really highlights the transformative potential of AI. Yeah. Not just as a tool for automation, right. but as a catalyst for human ingenuity and discovery. So as we wrap up this deep dive, okay. what's the key takeaway for our listener? Okay. What does all of this really mean? Simply put, prompt engineering is the key to unlocking the full potential of AI. Oh. It's about learning to communicate effectively with these incredibly powerful tools yeah. to express our needs, goals, and even our wildest dreams right. in a way that AI can understand and act upon. And the best part is, yeah. you don't need to be a tech wizard to get started. No. It's about curiosity, creativity, and a willingness to experiment. I totally agree. And never underestimate the power of externalizing your brain. It's such a good one. Right. Yeah. Take the time to clarify your own thinking. Okay. To break down complex tasks into manageable steps. Right. That's where true mastery begins. For sure. This has been an incredible journey into the world of prompt engineering. It has. Thanks for diving deep with us. Absolutely. And remember, the next great AI breakthrough might just start with a well-crafted prompt. Hmm. Until next time, keep exploring.